Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Confident and I am a developer advocate at Cloudflare. In this video and in the next couple of videos in this playlist, I'm going to show you how to build your own SaaS product using Cloudflare workers and related technologies. And in fact, we'll be building the, a clone of the software we have on my screen. It's called web to kindle I'll explain what it means uh, in a sec. But the idea here is to use all of the services Cloudflare providers, you have workers, you have KV, you have browser rendering, you have workflows, you have queues, you have workers AI and so much more. Taking the services, which many of which are free to build your own SaaS product. So we're going to go through the process of um, getting started and using this technology in this playlist. And we're going to be building the software on the screen called web to kindle if you have a Kindle device, you find this useful because it's already live and everything is uh, free and open source. And of course, it's built on Cloudflare Workers. So I have a Kindle device. And what I like to do is whenever I come across an article on the web, when I'm surfing the web, I like to get that saved and sent to my Kindle device to read later. So how, how can you go about doing that? You can actually build that on Cloudflare Workers. And that is what this service is, which we'll be building in the next couple of videos. So let me give you a tour to show you how it works, what it does, and we'll look at how it's built together using the technology from Cloudflare Workers. And then I'll show you how to actually uh, build it from scratch using JavaScript and all of the stuff we will be looking at. Okay, so let's imagine I was browsing the internet. See, uh, I was browsing the Cloudflare blog and I come across an article I'm interested in reading. You have a bunch of articles here. This article on a Linux kernel looks interesting. And I want to get this sent to my Kindle device so I can read later. So all I'll, all, all I'll have to do here is go copy the URL, head over to the website, which is web 2 .me. I'm going to paste this in right here. Then I also need to enter my Kindle email address. And if it's your first time using this service, like if you want to give this a test and see how it works, you need to add this email domain to your Kindle approved emailing list that's important you have to do that just once uh, as a first time setup then i'm going to hit the send button and we get the message saying that the article is being sent to my kindle which is awesome because now i can like browse the web and send stuff later to my kindle to read later so i have my kindle here and i am going to wake it up and we can head to my library and this is my library. We don't have the file delivered yet, but it should come in any minute from now. So let's give this a second or two. And we have it delivered. Uh, you can see this, it's on my home screen and it's the first um, article on my Kindle device. So I can go in to open this up and you can see we have that article from the Cloudflare blog on my Kindle device. And I can read this later. And of course, I can read this offline because it's already on my Kindle device and it's ready for me to read whenever I want to. And the cool part of this um, SaaS platform, if you will, is that it has extensions. So there's a Chrome extension, which is on the Chrome Web Store as Web to Kindle. There is also a Firefox extension, which is on the Firefox add-on store as web to kindle I'm just going to show you quickly what the extension looks like. So I have a Firefox browser in here. And uh, this is also another article I'm reading. So let's say I'm interested in reading this article on fixing course errors on Cloudflare workers. I have the extension installed on my Firefox browser. And what you notice is that the extension automatically uh, detect the URL of the article we're reading and also remembers my Kindle email. So I can go on to hit the send button and we'll have this article sent and delivered to my Kindle. So we can give that a sec to get delivered to my Kindle, but I'm just going to show you how fast all of this is. So if I go to my dashboard and I quickly go through the login flow, select my account and I scroll down to the workflow we have for this application. So it's called web to Kindle and 
I just triggered two workflows. So this was the one I, I triggered for the Cloudflare blog. And this is the one I did for the other article on Cloudflare workers. You can see that this took six seconds to complete and the other took three seconds. Now, if I go back to my Kindle library homepage, you'll notice that we have that article from my blog uh, sent to my Kindle device and I can also read it and yeah, it works and it's actually pretty fast. So this is what we're going to be building together in this series. It's fully open source. All of the source code is here on GitHub. It's written in JavaScript, so that should be really easy to get going. And I'm going to show you how to put all of this together. But before going in to show you how the code works and um, how everything is built, I would like to show you how the system works. And then in the next video, we'll start off by writing the actual code. So this is the architecture diagram for the entire software. And it also tells you what Cloudflare services we're using to put this app together. So whenever a request comes in, say you visit the website or you use the browser extension, that request triggers a workflow and that workflow immediately responds to the request saying, hey, your request has been registered. It's going to be worked on. That's the request to convert a blog to get it delivered to the Kindle has been registered and we're going to get it done. And the workflow kicks off a series of steps. So workflow is a durable execution engine that allows you to perform steps and has automatic retries and all of the awesome stuff for building highly resilient applications. So the workflow kicks up a bunch of steps. The first step is to check if that article has been rendered before. So it uses um, Cloudflare Workers KV as a cache and it checks in that cache to see if that article has been cached previously. If, if it has not, it runs step two. And step two is the process of connecting to a remote browser instance and getting that article rendered. So this uses a bunch of technologies. You have durable object, you have the browser rendering API, and then when the article is rendered, it is cached in the KV store. And that is all in step two. And finally, that article gets delivered to your Kindle. And what, what happens in step three is, the article cached in KV store is then sent via email, to your Kindle device and that gets delivered to your Kindle and you can see in your library to read later. So all of this code is right here on GitHub and it's really awesome seeing how all of this is put together. Uh, the entire source code is here on GitHub. So I highly encourage you take a look at it and you reach through the documentation here on GitHub if you like to learn more. In the next video, what I'll do is show you how to set up this workflow and then we'll begin building out the parts of this application. Again, the goal is to get you building your own SaaS applications. So I hope you have fun learning about these technologies and how they come together. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. Thank you.